What have we learned so far in implementing AI and, and developing AI strategies? How is One AI helping us move from principle to practice in the implementation of responsible AI? There are many different types of AI systems that operate in many different contexts. And to consider the policy ramifications of AI systems in general would not be very helpful. The AI classification working group worked to figure out what are the core elements of AI systems that need to be characterized, that need to be understood to be able to inform policymaking, policy regulation, other kind of considerations. The goal is to create this foundational classification that can eventually give policymakers an easy to use field guide to help differentiate between different AI systems. The socioeconomic environment in which AI systems is deployed has a lot of impact on how an AI system will be used. And we sense this context through data. Our task was basically to develop a set of indicators which would be simple enough to determine the key properties of data which we are dealing with. One of the key indicators here is how data is being collected. Data is most often still collected by humans. The second important element here is the data provenance, where the data is coming from. The data can be either synthetic, derived, inferred, or aggregated. And of course, data can be either dynamic or static. Structure of data, this is an important element because data is coming from all possible sources and there's no time to structure them. Along with the context and the data and input, we now think about the central system doing the AI operation. And the AI model aspect of the subdimension is fundamentally about both the model, but also the process by which the model gathers its capabilities. Each of these subdimensions is designed to help us sort of dive deeper into the models which we're trying to analyze. And all of these differences matter. They relate to the capabilities of the model and what we can expect the system to do. When we look at these models and we look at their characteristics, we can surface related considerations that are salient to policymakers. Knowing about the model and how the model acquires its capabilities can help us better reason about issues like fairness and potential fairness trade-offs in using a certain type of model, the explainability of that model, the robustness of that model, and of course, the relative types of performance we can expect to see from that model. This dimension describes really what the AI system is doing and how it is interacting with the world. Its main sub-dimensions are, first, the type of task that the AI system is taking. Second is the action that the AI system is taking and the level of autonomy or of human oversight of this action. Third, many AI systems are the combination of several tasks and actions. And lastly, this whole dimension raises related policy considerations. So let's just quickly use this framework. So on credit scoring, we can use the same approach to look again at the context. And here we see that it's being used in the sort of financial and insurance contexts and industries, and is obviously a high stakes use case. This is something that can make output decisions which can meaningfully affect someone's life and their financial standing. So we should treat it with perhaps more care and concern. Similarly, when we look at the data it takes in, we know not only does it take in structured data, but the data will frequently include highly personal data. And the task and output it does is fairly well described by the application. 